Okay. I'm going to show my guitar neck and all the flaws and uh, what to do and what not to do. Uh, let's see. Um, for one thing here, this line isn't exactly perfect and I'm going to deal with that later and straighten it out with a straight edge or whatever. I'm just going to have less heel area there. It'd be all... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> It'd be all that I would have to... Uh, do there basically as far as you know to straighten that up would just be to make it straight and uh or make it conform to the body it should be straight at that point though where it meets the body except for maybe an angle in uh depending because when you set a les paul neck in it's got to be tilted uh you know a little bit back here and the reason for that is for uh the uh tunematic bridge is a little bit higher than a normal like for instance strat bridge um, okay, this surface here needs to be leveled on the top. It's very, uh, it's pretty uneven just when it comes to, I mean, I could feel maybe just a fingernail there, but just going to make that all level there. That's going to take away a little bit of thickness here, but there's, uh, as far as the uh, neck thickness, I like, I like my necks really thin anyway, <coughs> but, um, <coughs> Anyway, there's different ways to handle that. The fretboard could be a little bit thinner, a little bit thicker. Uh, you know, you could uh, even glue another piece on if you think there's a problem issue there. That leads me to the headstock. Uh, I'm going to try to do the inch and 11 sixteenths nut width, straighten this line out really good. There's a number of ways to correct uh, some of the problems that I have here. And I'm going to point them out to you and show you how bad of a job I did and what I... I'm going to do to fix it, hopefully. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I had some unlevel surfaces here, very unlevel. It's got dips in here, really pretty deep. See those little grooves there? Those are pretty deep. <laughs> I could stick my fingernail part of the end of my finger basically inside of some of these. So the, the solution to that uh, that goes for all the chips on the edges and stuff. I got a really bad one back here on the edge. Kind of broke off when I was working with it. And then there's sort of a, a dip here. You see that closer and, and kind of tell. Well, it's not focusing. But anyway, there's, trust me, there's some very... There, you can see a little better. Pretty, pretty bad dips. So my plan is to basically thin this down with a plane. To, to where those points disappear and laminate another piece of wood you know on the back here and the same thing I could do up here that way all the surfaces are going to be level I could just try to fill it with like uh, Bondo or something like that which a lot of people do before they paint guitars which I just don't like that idea <laughs> I want it to be all wood, so we'll see if I can actually do that or you know what what route I'm actually going to take. Um, <clears throat> I'm still kind of carving the neck profile and all that sort of thing. I'm going to blend all this in, and I haven't got this exactly the profile I want yet or anything. It's fairly close as far as like I like a thinner neck like that as far as the thickness of it this way, uh, but as far as the width. I like it fairly narrow. I like it one and eleven sixteenths where the nut is, and then down at this end, uh, the taper is just going to be, uh, I guess, whatever my plans were. Unless I decide that hey, you know, I can make it a little bit thinner there, and I, I would like that. So anyway, so that's the plan, and um, we'll see how it turns out. Okay.